Good morning. It's June and typical British summer weather. We've decided to set off on our first ever road trip in our Mini Electric. We're heading for the Scottish borders from down home in Kent and we will be reversing out shortly having just fully charged. We have a range of about I think 130 to 140 miles when the weather's fairly mild. And so we'll we'll update as we go. We are heading for Wimpole Estate, which is about 70 miles away. So a smooth first leg has taken us to Wimpole Estate, a National Trust property in Cambridgeshire. We last visited here about four years ago and since then they've added a new car park with electric vehicle charging. There's six charging points with two chargers on each, so 12 in total, and they're free to use. They're Rolex ones, which we've experienced elsewhere, so nice and simple to plug into. Just keep an eye out for the light and you know you're good to go. It's a very large car park, so thankfully the electric vehicle part of it is signposted. And you've got these posts on this side and then over on the other side of the car park there's one or two more. As you can see from the welcome board there's plenty to do here uh, but we're only really paying a flying visit because we need a charge so basically it's as long as it takes to get us back to 100%. You can use the chapters to skip our visit to Wimpole Estate if you want. First port of call is the old rectory restaurant. We've just picked up a couple of coffees and some shortbread, so we'll enjoy these. And then afterwards I think we'll have a look around the walled garden. And then we're off to the home farm, because rumour has it there are piglets. Pollinators Paradise. Only about a week old. 
What's this place that one? Look. Yeah. Oh, there is one over there. Possibly. He's got his priorities straight. The car hit 100% at about 12 o'clock, so about five past now. We've just unplugged it. We're going to move into a parking space in case anybody needs the charger, although there are two free spaces next to us. Have some lunch, and then next stop is going to be the Tesco in Sleaford, where we're hoping that one of the 22 kilowatt charges is going to be free, so we can top up there while we pop into the Tesco's and get some food for tonight. Well, here we are at Sleaford in the Tesco's. We've arrived on schedule. So, so far so good. So, we've plugged up to the 22 kilowatt charger. Um, here in Sleaford, they have 50s, 22s and 7s. So you pay for the 50 uh, and the 22s and 7s are free. Um, there's a slight caveat on saying it's 22 kilowatt charger because there's a restriction on the mini for AC charging is that you'll only get 11 maximum and uh, this one does seem to be going a bit slow too so we're only getting about seven at the moment but uh, so that's okay we'll we'll be here a little bit longer than we thought uh, but that gives us time just to pop in pick up some bits for later once we get to the Premier Inn in Pontefract North. So that's the last leg of day one complete We've arrived at the Premier Inn in Pontefract North, having driven 214 miles. We chose this hotel for three reasons. Firstly, it's just off the A1M, so it's on our route. Secondly, it has pot point chargers. And thirdly, it has to be said, it was ridiculously cheap. We took the car off charge last night in case anybody else needed one. Um, we were up to about 80%, so we figured we had enough to be getting on by if that was needed. As it turns out, um, about quarter to eight in the morning, neither of them are being used. So we're gonna pop him back on charge whilst we have some breakfast. Hopefully get him up closer to 100% before we set off. So the charges at the Premier Inn are actually in the additional overflow car park around the back of the Brewers' Fair rather than in the main one which is out the front and here comes pascal the mini ready for his top-up charge well we've arrived at tyneview retail park which is just outside of newcastle this has been the longest leg of the journey so far without a charge we did stop off in stop scotch corner uh, where there were some grid serve chargers but it was really busy so we thought we'd just grab a coffee uh, and head here there's an osprey rapid charger here which is pretty handy as I've signed up to the Bonnet app and they've given me my first charge free. So we're going to load up on the kilowatts and grab some lunch in Greg's. We've pretty much driven past our final destination and get to get to our last charging point here in the Tesco's and Gala Shields. Technically we don't need to charge, but we do need some food shopping for the Airbnb that we're going to be staying in. So whilst we are getting that from Tesco's in the M&S food hall, we thought we might as well take advantage of the pod point charger. 
So after 400 miles of driving, here we are at our Airbnb in Newstead, which is just outside of Melrose in the Scottish borders. Please keep your eye out for part two of this video, which will be our return home journey from North Berwick.